All right, guys, welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Can you believe it? October 7th, 2022, and we are on the island, South Padre Island, Texas. And uh, this is kind of home base for a while. Uh, uh, this is my old stomping grounds. I grew up down here, grew up in the valley, and uh, would be on the island almost every weekend. So. It's like coming home after 42 years. But let's get to what matters. We're going hyper local now because the fishing here is uh, hyper good. Um, I was on the jetties yesterday during, right before the tides started moving. So the tides are moving a little later, but they're extreme right now. Um, very high right now in the lower Laguna Madre. And uh, there's plenty of fishing going on uh, <laughs> right behind me. And uh, this is uh, really uh, just a little bit overwhelming because I've got so much to do. If you are a Patreon subscriber, make sure you go over and participate in my Patreon survey because that is what's going to determine what Patreon subscribers get to see first from South Padre Island. Um, you know, of course, catching some slack already for even being here um, and talking about South Padre Island, Lower Laguna Madre, and all the facets that go with that. That's not unusual for me. I've been there and done that with uh, carp in North Texas, 500, and I was wrong. I found a shortcut 552 miles from here. So I'm used to that. I can take it. You can bring it. But the first place you're going to find anything is on Patreon. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait um, maybe two to four weeks and then make that a public video. So basically the Patreon subscriber gets to see things before everybody else does and maybe take advantage of it. There will be other things coming soon that are um, more diverse even than we already are. Uh, food down here, entertainment down here, things for families to do. This is the best family destination on the Texas Gulf Coast, bar none. And you can start with the clarity of the water and the cleanliness of the water. Cleanliness of the water. It's beautiful. And I know it. And I've known it. But now I get to talk about it in person. Thank God. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Anyway, fishing, I've seen uh, plenty of people catching uh, speckled trout, we've got redfish, um, you know me, I'm kind of thinking about going up into the Arroyo, Colorado next week and looking at those uh, suspended, uh, I'm not going to talk about it, you'll have to go to Patreon and see, but anyway, fishing across the state, who cares? I'm where it matters most, South Padre Island. I mean, I care. Okay, I really do. I do. So don't, don't, don't hate me. But um, yeah, it's going to be a little more centric to South Padre Island now. When you get these reports, I'm not running scrolls anymore because they're so burdened with self-promotion from these people who have self-interest in mind when they actually talk about how great the fishing is. Basically. They're fake news now. Uh, you know, I can't, I don't even bother to read them because I don't trust them anymore. And that's the TPWD feed. I don't trust it. You shouldn't trust it either because there are people with self interest who are sending these reports in. Imagine a guide sending a bad report in, a paid guide sending a bad report in. Do you think that's going to happen? Heck no. So that's what's going on. Oh, at the jetties, man. Lots of, lots of bait moving. You know, and it's just circling around and coming back and forth. It's so thick, it's unbelievable. And uh, But what I saw yesterday was, and this was during kind of right before the tide started moving, like I said, we'll talk about just the jetties because it's overwhelming. Um, what I saw was no, no predators going after this bait. So there's lots of turtles there. You got to be careful with turtles. But um, if you're fly fishing, because they seem to just like, try to swim into your fly line while it's out there. It's really bizarre. But um, yeah, there is no predators on these guys 
while I was there. And maybe when the tide started moving, it stirred up that bait. The bait was pretty organized. You know, you want moving water, you want moving tides because that will disorient the bait and that will <laughs> help the predators. So keep that in mind. You know, the weekends here on South Padre Island are extremely crowded. And, or, I don't know, it's October. It's October 7th. It may not be as crowded, but October is a golden month here on the Texas Gulf Coast, and especially down here. But um, I'm not going to fish on the weekends, guys. Um, it's just a little bit crazy when you're living here to uh, actually feel like you have to go out and fish on the weekend unless you got a guest or something like that you know it's a uh, it's a uh, pointless it's very very crowded so that's it from here uh, this is my first report from South Padre Island I hope you enjoy it come call me text me whatever you want to do here's my number right down here this is my my number down here down south and so you can hit me on that of course we're the overarching reason I'm here is to open a new store in Port Isabel, Texas called Los Pescadores Coffee and Outfitters. Now that store, located right there by the court, by the court, I keep saying courthouse because I used to live in front of the courthouse, <laughs> by the lighthouse, is, I heard some fish moving. That lighthouse is a historic lighthouse. It's still open to the public. You can go up and tour in that, go up and top and look out. It's really great. But that store is, uh, we're coming along, but it's a hard trudge we got going right now, getting this thing built out. So it's gonna be a marathon. Stick with me, I'm gonna report from there and show you what progress looks like. We'll put that on the Los Pescadores YouTube channel, okay? So there's gonna be more video and it's gonna come into that channel. We're getting some wind noise, I'm sorry. I'm not used to wind. <laughs> I'm not used to any of this, you can tell. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon, maybe next week even, and hopefully I'll have some uh, good stuff for you. And don't forget about Patreon. If you go there, subscribe, you can vote. There's a survey there on which stories I do first. We'll put those in order because there's so much to do here that I cannot possibly, possibly decide what I want to do first. Thanks, guys.